Just uh, wanted to document, this is a 1995 uh, 3.75 horse Briggs uh, Sprint engine here. Uh, pretty much the same as like their classic or their old 3.5 horse. Um, I just wanted to, more for my purposes than anything, document the changes they've made over the years. Um, first one is uh, the 3.8 head uh, on the bolt with no washer. This one here came out of uh, that hole and they put uh, some thread sealer on it there. So it must have had problems with uh, leaks. But uh, you can see it's got the six spoke plastic camshaft there, the white colored plastic, yellowish, whatever. Uh, now this particular engine is one of the uh, wettest ones I've ever found. The crankcase was right full of water, gas tank was full of water, basically the whole engine was right full of water. I don't know why, they must have parked it under waterfall or something. But uh, anyway, um, the oil sump there, it's got uh, a lot of uh, sludge in it there. But uh, you might be asking, well, you know, why'd you buy an engine? I initially didn't know it was full of water, but uh, what I liked about it was uh, the crankcase cover here uh, wasn't broken. Now it's got one bolt broken off in it, but I can deal with that. Um, I get a lot of them, and, uh, there's pieces missing out of the base, crankcase cover. so. Uh, and it's also got the long crankshaft, and uh, I use that uh, on my uh, Franken Briggs engines and such. So, uh, so that crankshaft I can use and the sump cover. So, the magnetron ignition, and as you can see, it's still got quite a bit of uh, milky oil in the bottom there. Um, but uh, the other uh, things I want to point out: there's a cylinder head off it. It, it uses the, the old style standard uh, head there, unlike the the newer one, it's a uh, freehand point here. It continues in from both sides at a, a shape there, so you end up with more of a V-shaped combustion chamber there. Uh, don't see one handy here. I'd show it in the video, but uh, and it still still has the old style uh, recoil starter there, which I was kind of surprised at. But so uh, anyway, so that's. Uh, 1995 uh, Briggs Sprint. So they drop down to the 3 8 crankcase cover bolts as well as the uh, 3 8 bolts up top on the uh, recoil starter cover there. And uh, just minor changes over the years. Those bolts started out uh, with the, you need a 716 socket. When I say 3 8 that's the size socket you need to remove it. And uh, cylinder head bolts are half inch socket. So. Anyway, just a quick preview there of uh, a submerged uh, 1995 uh, Briggs and Stratton Sprint. Well, I continued on with the teardown here. Pulled the crankshaft and piston out of it. And uh, crankshaft actually still good. This is it here. Little cleanup on the top part there, but uh, it's not a really a ball of rust. One thing I was going to point out, notice it's got the uh, powder metal uh, yeah, non-integral gear there. And she slides on. Whereas, and here's the piston out of it. Uh, the it uses the small 5 16 head uh, socket, uh, cap screws, bolts, whatever you want to call them there. And the the connecting rod has a almost like a sandblasted finish. It's a rough finish. Now here's comparison. This is say from the 1980s. The connecting rod is shiny, and this one's also got lock tabs. It's got the 716 head bolt and uh, lock tabs. You bend over. That could even be from the 70s, because they did switch to one that doesn't use the lock tab uh, intermediate there. Uh, and then here's an old crankshaft. It's got the integral gear on it there, one piece, shell one piece, as well as the uh, machined. Uh, counterweights. Uh, counterweights on the uh, on this one, they're not machined. As you can see, they're just rough cast there. All these time and money saving things that they developed over the years. I'm not a huge fan of the non-integral gear, though. It's, it's good and bad. I, I broke one apart there on my Bridge 327, but uh, I think I got the solution to that. I'll be using one of these plastic camshafts. They weigh so much less that uh, I think I had a, uh, a vibration kind of dynamic going on there. Anyways, continue on with this video. And here, 
we have a piston and a rod out of a model 10A uh, say about uh, 2010 and you can see they made major changes the uh, the pistons no longer no longer full circle in this area see there and the rings are uh, skinny really thin compared to the thickness that they used to be they're like half as thick as they used to be my guess is it's got some type of Teflon coating on it the pistons gray there but uh, anything to lower friction and uh, improve uh, horsepower I guess so but back to our 1995 there so it looks like I can salvage the engine block on it here uh, cylinders okay uh, everything's uh, good to go that way in spite of the fact it was full of water so anyway hope you've uh, enjoyed this little uh, vid there on uh, how they're building Briggs is back in 1995 compared to a little bit now in the future and in the past.